Fractions were actually invented over 4,000 years ago by ancient Egyptians, who could only work with unit fractions, meaning they had to express everything using fractions with one in the numerator, like one half or one third. Picture this. You're an Egyptian scribe trying to divide seven loaves of bread among 12 workers. You couldn't just write seven twelfths like we do today. Instead, you had to break it down into a complex combination like one half plus one twelfth. This seemingly impossible limitation actually led to some of the most sophisticated mathematical thinking in human history. Here's what will blow your mind about fractions in real life. Every time you listen to music, you're experiencing fractions in action. Musical notes are literally fractional relationships. A half note is exactly half the duration of a whole note, and an octave represents a two to one frequency ratio. When you hear harmony, your brain is processing mathematical fractions as beautiful sound. But here's the misconception that trips everyone up. Most people think one half is always bigger than one third, right? Wrong. In the world of golf scores, one over three is actually better than one over two because lower scores win. Context completely changes how we interpret fractions. The pizza slice analogy teachers use is actually misleading too. Real world fractions aren't always about dividing something into equal parts. Stock market percentages, cooking ratios, and architectural proportions all use fractions in ways that have nothing to do with cutting up circular objects. Ancient Babylonians used base 60 fractions, which is why we still have 60 minutes in an hour and 60 seconds in a minute. Every time you check the time, you're using their 4,000-year-old fractional system. So here's your challenge. Look around your room right now and count how many things involve fractions. Your phone battery percentage, the aspect ratio of your screen, even the proportions of your furniture. Once you start seeing fractions everywhere, you'll realize they're not just abstract math concepts, but the hidden language that structures our entire world.